Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show you how to add covers to your journals or planners. I will show you how to add a PDF cover and also how to add a PNG picture cover. Okay? Alright, so this is the Red Digi Diary by Jenny. Um, it is linked and it's a writing journal, so I haven't started playing with this yet, but it's beautiful, so I'm sure I will. Um, so let's add um, a PDF cover that came with this. So in order, let me show you, let me show it to you first. So this one came, um, I keep my journal originals in a folder in the cloud. This one came with a cover that looks like this, okay? It is full size, very pretty, but it is a PDF file. Okay, this one did not come as a picture, so we have to add that as, P as a PDF. So back in Note Shelf, I'm going to click plus, import document, files, because that's where I happen to save mine. Journal, journal Originals is where I know I kept it. And I'm going to download the red cover. Okay. Now it added after. If I click my pages, I can see that the new cover came in after page one. So I'm going to edit, tap, and move it to the front. Okay. So now that is my front cover. Now that's all you need to do to change it from there. Okay. It put this badge across the bottom automatically. I did not choose that color. Okay. All right. So now that is how you add that if you want to add a PDF. Um, it does not go into the covers library. It just because it, we added it as a simple PDF. Now, if you have an image that you want to add, we're going to edit, select your diary or your journal, whatever it is change cover and now we're in the template library okay and you can pick any of the freebie covers that you have included with note shelf or if you come all the way down here to custom you can so these are covers that I have added that I purchased from Jenny okay um, these are actual covers this is an iWatch face that is also an iWatch face. You can, you can use personal photos. It doesn't matter. If you click this to add, it's going to ask you if you want no band or a transparent band, a little blurry band. All of these bands cover your image. If you notice, these have bands and these don't. Okay, so it depends on how you want your cover to look. So those transparent ones were this one. I'm going to select this just to show you what it looks like. So that was cut out photo. Then pick an image and you can actually pick anything that you want um, and you have options of what your outline is going to be but you can see it's covered my image. Okay, You can select your cover name Um, let's go ahead and make that just so you can see. But do you see how it completely covered my image? Um, now when you add this to your journal, well let's go ahead and add it. We'll see what it does. It, The name of the journal, all these have banners on the bottom. This one does not have a banner. Um, and this one has this, this thing in the middle. So let's go ahead and select and change cover again. We're going to go back to custom. I'm going to long press and delete that one. I don't really like that. We're going to add it again. We're just going to find the same one. I'm going to go with no band, find an image. We're going to get that same mermaid. Title it. That's another thing. You can't title your uh, covers when you bring them in as PDFs because they don't go into this library. In the library are only images, only P PNGs. So now I see my entire image, there's no band anywhere. 
if I select it, it put the name of my diary in the middle of the picture. This one has a transparent band, you can see it there. So if you change your mind and you want to go back to the original cover that came with your journal, we're going to edit, change cover, and you know you have all these freebies in here. There's one that's called transparent and it will show the first page of your journal. This is transparent and then you have the option to pick what color the tab here at the bottom is, the banner. So you see that the banner was the gray that I selected. It put in the name of my journal and it's transparent so I can see page one of my journal. When you add in a cover like this one, the cover is what you see rather than page one. Page one was this, which is a writing journal. Okay. Um, this is a writing journal as well, but I changed page one to be this rather than this. Okay. And you can see this one came with this one as page one, and I added this one. Okay. So, so just to recap, you select transparent if you want to see page one of your journal. Otherwise you go to custom and you can add an image from here. If your new cover is a PDF, then you must actually open your journal and import it using the plus tool and import document. Okay. Thanks for watching.